Hello everybody. This week has been a major one for all the Yellowstone fans out there. We not only welcomed a brand new year, leaving all the negative feelings and disappointments of 2021 behind, but also said goodbye to the season 4 of Yellowstone, which was a bittersweet moment. It was sweet because the final of the season has managed to shock us all. Even though we weren't expecting to be this surprised by this specific season's ending. Why? Well, season 4 was great and all, but it was mostly focusing on the events of season 3, more specifically the attacks that took place in the season 3 final. Throughout season 4, the Duttons tried to recover from the attacks, both physically and mentally. Even though they left the hospital in the very first episode, their trauma lasted for almost 10 more episodes. Their search for the possible attacker has never stopped, and they had to change their presumptions about the attacker's identity constantly, depending on the new clues that come to the surface. For instance, in the beginning, Beth was certain that Jamie has done it all, while Casey was sure that Jamie had nothing to do with any of these. John, on the other hand, was neutral on the topic. By the end of the season, our characters have ended up in different points than they started. This shows how impactful the season 3 ending was, as it shaped an entire season. Therefore, we were doubtful if season 4 ending would have a similar impact as well. To be honest, we still feel like, compared to season 3, season 4 ending was relatively moderate. That being said, it was still more shocking than almost all the other season finales out there, and it surely exceed our initial expectations. Naturally, now, all eyes are on season 5, as fans cannot stand to spend even a day without Yellowstone. In this video, we will discuss everything we know about season 5 of the series so far. However, first, let's take a look at season 4 finale, so that we remember where we left off the series. A lot of things happened in the season 4 final. For instance, Jimmy got back to the Yellowstone Ranch, at least for a brief amount of time. He was with Emily, as the two fresh lovers couldn't stand to spend even a minute without each other. Naturally, his return with another girl pissed Mia off, causing a massive fight within the bunkhouse. In the end, Mia accepted her tragic destiny, while Jimmy and Emily continued their life as if nothing has happened. Then, the couple returned to Texas, and they decided to continue their life there. This was a true farewell of Jimmy to the Yellowstone Ranch, as his journey will continue in the spin-off series, Four Sixes. This new show didn't start yet. It doesn't even have a trailer. Still, throughout Yellowstone Season 4, we witnessed Jimmy's experiences in Four Sixes briefly, which worked as an extended trailer for Four Sixes. In other words, Jimmy will no longer be in Yellowstone Ranch, but we will continue to follow him in Four Sixes. We also witnessed Casey's spiritual experience in Season 4 Final. To be honest, it was the weakest plotline of the episodes, since it felt incomplete, though we got some beautiful cinematography through it. Casey had a fort of camping in the mountains, where he was left for days without food or drink. The reason why was the fact that he was seeing a wolf as his spiritual animal at all times, but failing to understand what it was trying to say to him. Thus, he decided to have a spiritual session, in which he will seclude himself and pray for a meaningful vision. Throughout his experience, he saw multiple visions, from his dead friends to the girl who declared her life to him. He also saw him as a soldier, witnessing a massive explosion. Then, the wolf gained a human vessel and guided Casey through a path, which eventually separated into two. She said that he can choose the way he wants, and that will be his destiny. When Casey returned from this striking experience, he was shaken by it to his core. Monica asked him what he saw as a vision, and his answer was ambiguous but creepy, I saw our ending. Now, this answer is the exact reason why Casey's storyline feels incomplete. The showrunners left all the juicy parts of his journey to the next season, and were mad at it. In our opinion, Casey had to make a difficult choice between his two different families. We already saw him choosing Monica and Tate against the Duttons at the beginning of the season. Now, he will probably have to follow a path that will please the Duttons, while possibly hurting Monica. It's likely for Casey to be given the mission to save the Yellowstone Ranch by getting a responsibility within the State Departments. He might even be a governor, who knows. Thankfully, Season 5 will answer all of that. Speaking of governor, possibly the harshest plotline of the episode took place between Beth and Jamie. First, as the good news, we have to mention the fact that Beth got married to Rip and John promised the newlyweds a proper wedding, meaning that Season 5 will witness a massive wedding ceremony. Knowing that Yellowstone isn't a show suitable for pure celebrations, this wedding will probably be a lot bloody than our usual weddings, 
perhaps similar to the Red Wedding of Game of Thrones. Other than that, we watched Beth forcing Jamie to kill his father, Herod. We were expecting a lot of things to happen this season. However, patricide wasn't one of them. Although Yellowstone without a Garrett is a total blessing, it also means that we will watch Jamie highly depressed and possibly on the edge of suicide. This incident might cause him to get closer with John, perhaps. However, it's more likely to see him being used by Beth at all times, turning into a slave as his picture of holding the dead body of Garrett is taken by her. In season 5, we will witness the wrath of Jamie while Beth is gradually turning into a villain. We expect season 5 of the series to be released in the late fall of 2022. This means we have months ahead to speculate about what will happen next. The trailer of the show will probably be released in October 2022. What do you think about season 5 of Yellowstone? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for watching. See you soon.